In July 2021, the New South Wales Parliament approved the introduction of a levy on certain building work to fund the costs of the New South Wales Building Reform Agenda. These reforms are raising the standards of design and building work to deliver safe, compliant and resilient buildings and restore public confidence in the industry. From 4 July 2022, a levy will be applied to certain building work for Class 2 buildings, which are buildings where people live above and below each other and buildings that have a Class 2 part in them. The levy may also be expanded to other building types in the future. For those buildings captured by the scheme, the levy applies to building work for new buildings, the addition of stories to existing buildings, as well as the repair, renovation or protective treatment of a building where the value of the building work is over $150,000. The levy applies to building work that requires a new or amended expected completion notice from 4 July 2022 as part of the intention to seek an occupation certificate application in the New South Wales Planning Portal. This means if the building work does not require an occupation certificate, the work will not be subject to the levy. For stage building work, where multiple occupation certificates are applied for, the levy will be payable on each stage of work requiring an expected completion notice. The person who submits the intention to seek an occupation certificate in the planning portal must pay the levy through the portal itself. If the levy has not been paid or an exemption granted, an occupation certificate will not be issued for the building work. Not all building work is subject to a levy. Certain work has been exempted from paying a levy due to the low impact of the work or where the levy is otherwise not necessary, including where an occupation certificate is not required, work that is exempt under the Design and Building Practitioners Act, where there is or will be fewer than five residential premises in the building, when the work is carried out or for the New South Wales Land and Housing Corporation, repairing, rectifying or replacing external cladding, or the repair, renovation or remediation work is valued at less than $150,000. The levy amount will depend on the type of work and the size of the project. Larger projects measured by the number of stories being constructed at each stage or the value of the works itself will pay a greater amount. The levy amount for new buildings or the addition of stories to an existing building is charged based on the number of stories covered by the expected completion notice. The levy amount for the repair, renovation or protective treatment of a Class 2 building or a building with a Class 2 part is based on the cost of the work. Only work over $150,000 will be charged a levy. New South Wales Fair Trading has the discretion to waive, reduce or postpone the levy in limited circumstances, such as if an individual is suffering financial hardship, the building work is for a charitable purpose or special circumstances exist, such as a recovery from a natural disaster. You can find more information on the building work levy on the Fair Trading website.